What's up guys, I'm Aaron Radcliffe with NomadsNation.com and we're in Ho Chi Minh City and we're about to do the best damn air travel pack review on the web. These are the things we're gonna cover. Stick around to the end. If you like what we're doing, smash that like button. Let's roll. All right, so let's talk about the specs of the air travel pack. And I wanna clarify, this is the air travel pack two that we're talking about. The first spec is the cost. The air travel pack two is gonna run you 230 US dollars. The cost is definitely a little on the pricey side, but when you see all that you're getting with this backpack, it's totally worth it. And for the size, the air travel pack only comes in one size and that's this size right here, which is 33 liters. 33 liters is a very specific backpack size. It's definitely too big to be a day pack and it's definitely too small to be like a long-term, like digital nomad travel pack. So what 33 liters is perfect for is shorter term to like midterm travel. Think weekend trips, week long trips, two week trips, maybe in a month long trip. It depends on your packing style and how much and how much gear you actually bring. But the purpose of a 33 liter is for streamlined travel that is always carry on compliance. Okay, so let's talk about the style of the air travel pack. Now, style is super subjective. Everyone's gonna have different opinions. So I'm just gonna give you mine. Because when it comes to air, style is the name of the game. Sure, their backpacks are functional. Their backpacks are durable. Their backpacks are just overall awesome. But if I would say that there's one thing that really separates them from their competition, it's the style, man. They make really good looking packs. Now there's a few factors that go into the style of air, okay? Most of which is going to be this exterior material, which is a ballistic nylon, but also, and just as important, is the color options. Because while other backpack companies might give you a ton of color options, you could have a red one, or a green one, or a blue one, not with air. Every backpack is made from this ballistic nylon, and every backpack is black on black on black. That's just their look, man. That's just their vibe. And let me tell you, I mean, take a look. Like, it really, really works. Air has achieved an aesthetic and a branding consistency that I think few other backpack competitors can even hold a candle to. If you watch our other reviews, we do the uh, Air Sling, the Air Gym Bag, the Air Duffel Backpack, and you'll see that the branding and the identity of these bags and this company as a whole is pretty similar. I mean, most of their stuff is using this ballistic nylon and everything has this black on black. Um, all of them are using these like matte zippers right here. All of them have like the same feel of the zippers, like their consistency is on point. So with this material and with the black on black, like this backpack really says something with its style. This is for people who like a sleek, urban, modern, minimalist sort of aesthetic. So if that's you, then you in the air travel pack are you're gonna be like this. Okay, next up, let's talk about the way the air travel pack feels. Now the way it feels is a lot of things. Let's talk about the exterior materials and the interior materials before jumping into like how it feels when we actually wear the backpack. Now the exterior materials feel amazing. Why? Because they're using Cordura Ballistic Nylon. Ballistic Nylon is this fabric that you're seeing right here where it has like a smooth and sort of a scaly look and feel to it. And Cordura is a brand, and Cordura makes arguably the best ballistic nylon on the planet. And all air packs use Cordura ballistic nylon, therefore all air packs have the best ballistic nylon ever. And the best part about ballistic nylon is not just the way that it looks, which is awesome, but it's the way that it feels. Like I said, it has a scaly sort of a look to it. It looks bumpy but it does not feel that way, man. It is smooth to the touch. It has like a silkiness to it, but also like give me a lightsaber and you'd have a difficult time cutting into this thing with it because Cordura Ballistic Nylon is so tough and also so durable. But just because it's smooth and silky doesn't mean it's not durable. This Ballistic Nylon, man, give me, give me a knife right now. I, 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 you couldn't even chop into this thing if you tried. 
But unfortunately, as crazy as I am about the exterior materials, I don't love the interior materials as much. We'll get into the actual inside of the backpack soon, but these interior materials don't feel as high quality to me. Overall, they're good, I'm not complaining, but compared to some of the competitors, specifically Nomadic and especially Tortuga, I think these interior materials are lacking a bit. Up next are the zippers. Now the zippers for air are really important. That's because they do a very unique sort of branding with their zippers. Notice that all their zippers have sort of a matte-like finish. That matte-like finish looks super sexy and super sleek and I love it. But also with the zippers, talking about the feel, there's, there's definitely a very unique feel to air zippers. Now these are YKK zippers, which means they're the best quality zippers on the planet. But the zippers for air packs are definitely a little sticky sometimes. That's not a bad thing. It just means that when you open an air zipper, you can't be like weak sauce about it. You can't be like, oh, I need to open the zipper because it's not gonna work. You gotta put a little bit of force into it. You gotta, you know, really kind of grip with that wrist and give it a manly pull. Now this isn't, like I said, this is not a bad thing. This is actually intentional. Air wants a different zipper experience. You know, like, so like, you know, this zipper is super loosey-goosey, super easy, but like the big chunkier zippers, like they require a little bit more, like, mm, to actually operate them. This is intentional by Air, and like I said, it's not a bad thing. It's just a thing. There are definitely other backpacks on the market that have awful zipper experiences. Air is not one of them. Are they a little sticky? Sure. Do they require a little bit more oomph? Sure. But are they awful? Hell no. Great, great zippers, great feel to them. But now most importantly, let's talk about the way that the pack feels like when you're wearing it. Like, how does it feel? Is it comfortable? What's like the overall like vibe like? These are crucial with a backpack. Like obviously you wanna wear it, so it needs to be comfortable, it needs to fit well. And thankfully, the Air Travel Pack 2 feels really great. There's plenty of ventilation and plenty of padding on the back panel and the shoulder straps to eliminate sweat and to make it just an overall really, really comfortable experience. We'll talk a bit more about the comfort of the backpack when we actually talk about the back of the pack. I'll talk about the back panel and the shoulder straps more in depth, but for now, just know that the pack feels awesome. So you're traveling to a new city, you got your air, travel pack, you wanna grab a quick drink, charge your phone, and write in your journal a little bit? That's what the front of the bag's for. Let's check it out. All right, first up, let's talk about the actual aesthetic of the front. Basically, it's dominated by the ballistic nylon material, and then you've got the single horizontal zipper, just a little bit lower than halfway in the bag. This zipper has a waterproof lining, which gives it that really nice sleek and leathery look. And I love the way that that contrasts with like the scaly, bumpy look of the ballistic nylon. This is what I refer to as a quick access pocket. This is a good spot for things like a book, okay? Maybe you wanna put a journal in there, whatever it might be. Um, it's a decent amount of space. There's no extra organization. It's just a big pocket and that's it. But it's a good pocket, fine pocket, a good pocket, good pocket, great pocket, good pocket. So now moving up a bit, we have what I call Sometimes I refer to this as a digital nomad pocket, but it's also just the larger front pocket, which if you are a fan of organization, you're gonna love this pocket. These pockets are great. You don't see them in a lot of backpacks. You can see this in uh, the Tortuga Outbreaker, Nomadic Backpack, and the Nomadic Travel Pack. But more or less, it's kind of a rarity, and I wish it was more common, because I think front organizational pockets like this are awesome. And I usually refer to it as a digital nomad pocket because this is the sort of pocket that really benefits somebody who's working with their backpack. Whether you're using this for like a tablet or maybe a, la a smaller laptop, you've got spots for your notebooks, you've got pen slots. Um, this is a cool little pocket. I keep things like my watch in there or maybe an excess battery charger. This is good for um, phone chargers and wires. We've got some elastic pockets down here, which I don't typically utilize as much, but if I do, I like to use it for things like um, sunscreen, hand sanitizer, tissues, things of that nature that I might not need immediately, but that are still fairly quickly accessible. And then if you look right here, we also have a zipper. This is a great pocket for things like a passport, or I love to put spare cash in here. 
And then finally, behind this zippered pocket, we have this slot right here. This slot is enormous. It runs deep. I mean, it runs the length of the entirety of this, of the entire backpack. Like it comes all the way down here. So if you have like a big ass notebook or an iPad, a big ass iPad, or maybe another laptop, you can put it in there. For me though, this is where my notebook goes. But the pocket feels good. You'll like the way that it feels. It feels almost as good as it feels to hit the like button. Hit the like button. So with the front, that's about it. You've got these two pockets, this one being an enormous selling point for me. But while I do love this pocket, I do have one thing to complain about. And I mentioned it before, the materials feel kind of cheap. They don't feel terrible, but just like, if you look at the way this sort of panel just kind of sits, it's a little uh, It doesn't really settle nicely. And really what I'm doing is I'm comparing this right now to the Tortuga Outbreaker. The Tortuga Outbreaker has the same exact concept, the digital nomad organizational pocket. But in contrast, the materials feel heavenly, man. They're soft, they're smooth, they, but they retain their shape and their firmness. And I just think that in comparison to that, Air really cut some corners here and just use materials that I'm not really crazy about. But overall, the pocket works and the front of the backpack is pretty awesome. Okay, let's talk about the middle of the pack. First up, let's start on these sides. I love the sides of this backpack because unlike other packs, the sides are actually different. Case in point, side number one, we have a strap, water bottle holder, two compression straps. Side number two though, just two compression straps. And here's the weirder part. Now, some backpacks have that where, you know, the sides aren't the same, but usually one side will have the water bottle holder and the other side will have the strap, kind of balance it out. One side's got one thing, the other side's got another thing, but with the Air Travel Pack, they put both the strap and the water bottle holder on the same side. I greatly pondered about why Air did this, and I think that I actually like the strategy. Because the concept is, if you've got everything on this one side, that if you're carrying it, kind of like in briefcase mode with the side handle, you can lay it flat on its side while still accessing your water bottle and having access to the handle. I think it actually works pretty well. Let's talk about these things though. So first of all, the side handle. It's not my favorite side handle in the world. Air does a lot of things right, but their handles is not one of my favorite things that they do. This one has a decent grip to it and it does work pretty well. I just wish that there was a little bit more girth or a little bit more padding to it. Cause after holding it for about 10, 15 seconds, it loses its comfort and it just becomes a little cumbersome to hold. But with backpacks like this, you don't really end up holding this strap too often, so it's not the end of the world. Here we have the two compression straps. Now, like I said, there's two on each side. I actually quite like these compression straps. Normally, I'm a compression strap hater. I think they're super overrated. But these compression straps are actually quite cool. I think they add a nice aesthetic to the backpack. The buckles are great. They work really nicely. I don't know. I found compressing this bag not to be as dumb as compressing other bags. Like compressing this bag actually made sense. It actually worked the way that you would hope compression straps would work because sometimes they don't always work the way that you think that the compression straps are meant to work. And finally on this side, let's talk about the water bottle. So here we have Air's unique water bottle holder solution. I wouldn't say unique. Um, Standard Luggage uses this. I think Peak Design has a similar one. So it's not unique to them, but um, it's definitely one of my favorite water bottle mechanisms on the market. I love it because when the water bottle is not in use, it looks really nice, really clean, nice seamless, there's not a lot happening. But then when you wanna pop your water bottle in, you just go ahead, unzip it, slip your water bottle in and you're good to go. And still with the water bottle in, it looks great. And here's something that's really cool that I've seen other backpacks try to do, but I don't think that they were actually able to accomplish it. And the compression strap adds an additional layer of security for the water bottle. Now, not all water bottles are gonna have this perfect fit with this compression strap. Uh, mine just happened to, but it's really nice because honestly, without it, it's not the most secure water bottle holder. For instance, you're in the airport, you're walking around, all of a sudden you just do one of these and slide out. You can see that while I kind of had to force it out, it is in some ways just, you know, it's, it's I don't know, it's just not tight. 
But that's why I love having this compression strap because all you do is if you clip this bad boy in, boom. Now it's tight, that water bottle ain't going nowhere. Or what's cool is if you have a water bottle similar to mine where it has like this little you mother thing, you can go ahead and just kind of clip the strap in like that to keep it even more secure. Like I said, this is a 530 milliliter water bottle. So if you have a larger water bottle, because this pocket is elastic, you can fit a larger water bottle in there. Overall, great water bottle holder. Like I said, on this side, we got the two compression straps. Uh, they compress, enough said, moving on. Moving on to the top part. So we've got a few things to discuss here. Starting with the top handle. Not crazy about this top handle. It's got kind of like a cheap cardboardy feel to it. It's firm, which some people do like, but for me, there's no real padding. And when you grab it, it just, it, it feels like it's cardboardy to me. It feels cheap to me. I will give them points and props where it's earned. There's a good grabability to it. Like there's enough space in there for your fings to go ahead and grab through. But for the overall comfort, I'm not impressed. Before we jump into the actual main compartment, we have another quick access pocket right here. This is a great spot for things like wallets, or your shitty ass, fake ass Ray-Bans, uh, AirPods, keys. It's a pretty decent sized pocket, as you can see. The one thing that I don't like about this pocket is that I wish it was a softer lined pocket, like a softer material. Typically, pockets like this are soft lined, so when you put your sunglasses in there, when you put your phone in there, when you put your watch in there, it doesn't get scratched. I'm not sure if this material is scratch free, but it just doesn't feel as nice and as comforting as a pocket that has like that super soft material. All right, up next, let's dive into the main compartment. These compression straps do need to be unclipped or else you will not be able to get into the main compartment, which is not that big of a deal, but something to keep in mind. Yet again, we got these chunky YKK zippers that feel great to open. Unclip these bad boys. And here we have the main compartment. Remember, this is 33 liters and it feels to me on point. Sometimes the backpack feels a little bit smaller than it's advertised. Sometimes it feels a little bit bigger than it's advertised. This feels exactly like 33 liters to me. Here on this end, we've got a mesh compartment. Nice zipper access into it. This is a stiffer mesh webbing. Normally I like my mesh to be like really soft and sort of fluid and malleable. This is not that. Not saying that it's not durable, like it's just not as nice to the touch I feel like. It feels like you're gonna like slice your fingertip off, but um, it's a good spot for tech stuff. This is where I keep like a laptop charger. Uh, and then below it we have another pocket right here. Just a nice little basic pocket that you can put anything. Maybe you want to um, put a small travel towel in there. Maybe some socks. Maybe another notebook. Maybe you're like me and you travel with seven notebooks. This is a great spot for a notebook. But that more or less is the back side. Nice, simple, two pockets, done. The actual main compartment is quite nice. As you can see, we put some stuff in there to give you an idea of how well it packs. So here are some packing cubes. Uh, these are by Pro Packing Cubes. They're really nice packing cubes. I'll put a link in the description below. I've got my Peak Design wash pouch and also the Air Tech pouch. I'll put links to these in the bottom. But here we have the actual main compartment and you can see that it's just a classic clamshell style opening. A clamshell opening means it opens like this, which basically means it's a backpack that isn't top loading. It opens like this, like a suitcase, like a fucking clamp. I like the simplicity of this pocket. I like the depth of this pocket. It works really well. Um, there's no other compartments in there unless you are using the shoe compartment, which is this guy, which I'll explain in a second. But yeah, more or less, really pleased with the capacity. If you are someone who enjoys packing cubes like me, packing cubes are really growing on me and overall just sort of modular travel, you'll be pleased with this compartment as it fits everything you need, bro. But let's talk about that shoe compartment. So notice on the bottom right here, we have a little zip container and that's for your shoes. Isn't that cute? This shoe compartment is quite interesting. Now, not everybody likes shoe compartments, but the good thing is that you don't need to put your shoes in there. You can either A, do what I do and completely neglect and forget about it, or B, what is recommended by Air that I think is quite smart is using it for dirty laundry. You got a sweaty day out in Ho Chi Minh, you're shooting a backpack review, you take off your comfy ass Hurley shirt, pop it in there. This shoe compartment is large enough to fit a pair of shoes that are men's size 13. So it's pretty hefty. You should be able to fit your shoes in there. That's why this is a really great backpack also for like a two, three day trip. You know, you wanna go to your airport comfy with your sandals on, 
Maybe you want to bring a pair of sneakers for the gym. Maybe you want to bring a pair of dress shoes for the wedding. Maybe you want to bring a pair of cowboy boots because that's just how you roll, man. Whatever it is, your shoes will fit in there. But going back into this main compartment, keep into consideration that if you're going to use the shoe compartment, you are going to have severely compromised capacity in this main compartment. Because check it out. Let's say we put something in there. Take my shoes off. I'm actually going to take my actual shoes off. They're size 15 though, I don't know if they'll fit. <laughs> I'm kidding, they're size nine. Let me pop my pooms in there, okay? Uh, so you can see, you just pop them in there, zip it closed, and you're like, holy shit, my shoes have been successfully packed, but boom, look at all the space that they take. So this is what I recommend. If you are going on a two day trip and you just can fit a few things of clothes in there and you're not traveling with like a bunch of tech stuff, you can definitely fit your clothes and your shoes in there, but I wouldn't recommend bringing shoes for like longer term travels. Like if you're trying to take this backpack out for like a month, you might need more space for all your stuff, all your tech stuff, all your bathroom stuff, all your clothes stuff, and the shoes can really compromise that extra space. But honestly, it is really nice to have. Using it is super easy, taking your shoes out, boom, you can pop it closed. And then when you're not using it, like I just go ahead and roll it up, tuck it in right there, and you will literally forget it even exists. So more or less, that is about it with the middle of the pack. The highlight being the awesome main compartment, the versatile shoe compartment, and this badass side panel, man, where you got the, the handle, you got the water bottle holder, and these compression straps, which I inexplicably have fallen in love with. But let's move on to the back of the pack. This is the back of the pack. Okay, last but certainly not least, let's do the back of the air travel pack too. First up, and this is most important to me because I'm a digital nomad and my laptop is everything, so let's check out the laptop compartment. One thing to note is that you get three quarters access. This zipper stops there, which can be frustrating to some. I used to hate this. The Manal Carry On 2.0 does that and it used to infuriate me, but now, I've accepted it. And the other side will come down further, giving you like a three quarters access to your laptop compartment. The laptop compartment itself is super basic. We just have this one laptop sleeve right there. This is good for up to a 15 inch MacBook Pro. And for pockets, that's it. But one thing to note is that you got some depth in there. Can you get in there and see that? I can barely hold it open. As you can see, you can fit a ton more stuff in there. So like I have a bunch of digital nomad gear that I carry around. I've got my mouse pad. I've got my little jelly wrist guard thing. This thing is a fucking lifesaver, man. I've got my Bluetooth keyboard in there. I mean, this thing is big. This thing is deep. There's a ton that you can fit in there. This is a great compartment for any digital nomads or anybody just traveling with a laptop in general. And most importantly is like, with a laptop compartment, I want my laptop to feel secure. I want it to feel tight. I want it to feel like it's protected and it's not gonna get smashed. And this laptop compartment gives me all of that and then, and then some. It's a really nice compartment. I feel great about it. And also the zippers are really nice too. Up next, I'm gonna sit back down. Oh, that's much nicer. Okay, up next, let's talk about the actual back panel. First up, the straps are super comfortable. I love the materials that they used on the straps right here. They're really, really cushiony. Some shoulder straps are on the firm side, some are on the cushiony side. I prefer a little bit more cushion for the pushing, if you know what I mean. I've been I'm talking about shoulder straps, okay? Shoulder straps. Moving on with the shoulder straps, we have a removable sternum strap right here. The sternum strap is fantastic because like I said, it is removable. And also we have the little nylon holder right here which keeps excess dangle away because dangle sucks. Got this little clip guy right there. I have no idea what you would use it for, but if you have like a little thing that you want to clip things onto, then you can use this guy to clip those things onto the thing. And then further down, yet again, talking about how Dangle sucks, 
We also have uh, the dangle stoppers on the bottom of the strap uh, to make sure that this excess nylon is kept in its place. Moving on from the shoulder straps, if we look at the actual back panel, we can see that they match the style and the overall material and padding of the shoulder strap, so it's kind of like an extension. Great for style and also just great for continuity. And the back panel itself is really cushiony, man. I'm telling you, this backpack is delightful to wear. It's really, really comfortable. Obviously for 230 US dollars, it better be fucking comfortable. It better be like wearing a cloud on your back. And it is, it's really nice. When it comes to breathability, ventilation is super important and we only really have this one central gap. But I have been wandering around Ho Chi Minh with this backpack on and it's hot as balls out here, man. And this, uh, there's been plenty of ventilation. My back hasn't gotten too sweaty. So while it's only the one little gap, it's been more than adequate. And also right here, we have this little strap. When I first bought it, I'm like, is that really a handle? Is that really a fucking handle error? You expect me to grab that? And actually, it's not a handle. This is meant for suitcases. So if you actually got a suitcase and you pop the handle on the suitcase up, you can then slide the backpack over top of that and it can stay in place. You win this round, Air. Yeah. And then finally, moving down south, we have these waist straps. The waist straps, I'm pretty sure, are not included. But they're pretty good waist straps. They're super simple. There's not a lot to them. They are detachable, obviously. Some waist straps and other backpacks have a pocket right here. There's nothing like that. It's just minimalism at its finest. These things do not do anything else but help keep the bag secure around your waist. And they're really comfortable. We have the nylon uh, dangle stopper. Thank you for your service, sir. Really nice buckle. The waist strap itself has a decent amount of padding. As you can see, it's sort of a continuation, the same materials as the back panel and the shoulder straps. So it's consistent and it is nice and cushiony. Guys, if you are thinking about getting this bag, I do recommend getting the waist straps. I'm a big fan of waist straps in general. They really help secure the backpack and take weight off of your back. And I think they're only like a 15 or a $20 add-on, which I think is completely worth it. Back safety is important. Take care of your back. Okay guys, we have torn this bag apart. Now to wrap things up, we're going to take this air travel pack review back to my co-working space. I'm gonna let you know what the overall pros of this backpack are. I'm gonna let you know what the overall cons of this backpack are. And then most importantly, I'll give you my personal recommendation for who I think this bag is perfect for. But if it's not for you, I'll let you know what bag is for you. All right, I'll see you at the co-working space. First things first, the overall pro number one for the air travel pack is the fact that it's made by air. What I mean by that is that air puts a amazing commitment to the quality of their materials, whether it's the YKK zippers, this Cordura ballistic nylon, or the overall style, whatever it is, you know, whatever part that you like, it's a part of the air ecosystem and the air standard of their products. And it's just, they're, they're marvelous. Overall pro number two is going to be the comfort. For a 30 to 40 liter bag, I can say this is definitely one of the more comfortable ones. I love this back panel. I love these shoulder straps. It's a really, 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 comfortable experience. And then overall pro number three is going to be the shoe compartment. Now, like I said, shoe compartments are a bit controversial. Some people are like, I only travel with one pair of shoes. I don't need a shoe compartment. That's fine. Then use it for laundry. Use it for a towel. Use it for some headphones. Throw a six pack of beer in there. It doesn't matter. It can fit a ton of stuff. And the best part is that if you don't use it on the inside compartment, the main compartment, you just roll that up, tuck it down, and it's like it never existed. I'm a big fan of this, but let's flip it around. Let's talk about the cons of this backpack. Con number one is the interior materials, specifically in this front panel area. They just feel cheap to me. I just, I'm not a big fan of them. Like if you look at them, they're like a little wavy and bendy and saggy and they're like kind of like, it just doesn't, they don't feel great. Exterior materials, top of the game. 
Interior materials though is leaving a little bit to be desired. I'm just, I'm not, a, I'm not a fan of the interior materials, especially with this particular compartment. Con number two is going to be the laptop compartment or the tech compartment, whatever compartment you want to call it. Yet again, a little underwhelming. And the only reason I'm saying this is because I'm comparing it to some of Air's other packs, laptop or tech compartments, whatever you want to call it. And this one's just kind of okay. Not the most secure, not the best materials. It's just kind of all right. It'll be fine. Your shit will be secure in there. Like, don't worry about that. But for the price point, I was kind of hoping for the best of the best. And this just seems like the goodest of the good. Not quite the best of the best, but like the okayest of the okay. And then finally, the last con that I have, con number three, are the handles. Remember we got this side handle right here? And then we got this top handle right here, which upon first look, you're like, that thing's gonna rock. I love that handle. But then you touch it, you're like, that thing's okay. I don't love that handle. There's like a plastic lining or a base on top and it just makes it uncomfortable to hold. In the handle game, this just, this ain't even, this ain't even like a top 10 dog. Like it's just like, it's an okay handle. Looks 10 out of 10. Functionality, five or six out of 10. We got all the pros, we got all the cons. I know what you're waiting. Drum roll, what's the overall score? I give it a 4.2 out of five. Air is definitely like one of the top dogs in this game, man. And there's so much to love about this pack. But the interior materials to me are definitely kind of a downer. And that's my score, deal with it. So last but not least, who is this pack for? Is it for you? I'm about to tell you. This pack is definitely for you if you're looking for a one bag backpack. The one bag movement is like huge right now. And what that means is that you can take this on a trip and it can carry all of your stuff and you're not gonna need another backpack. This is your day pack, this is your gear pack, this is your travel pack, this is your everything pack. And because of the size of very strategic 33 liters, you're also gonna be able to carry this on like 95% of flights. Just pop it into the overhead and you're good to go. Because of the size, this is one of the most popular and overall best one bag backpack on the market. It's so good for what it does. It's so good if that's what you're into. It's, it's awesome. This backpack is also perfect for you if you're looking for a bag for weekend or week long trips. Now check it out. You can live the rest of your life off of this backpack. Minimalists right now are screaming at me, how dare you? You could travel for years with this. I get that. But that sort of travel style isn't for everyone, so I gotta cater to all my peeps out there. I'm talking to you guys. So if you're more of like a normal backer, you know, and like you, you know, you carry more stuff, you like to have seven t-shirts and three pairs of pants and a drone and a camera and a laptop with a laptop set, you have a ton of gear. This is great for weekend trips or week long trips. I mean, it could be longer, it just depends how much laundry you do how many clothes you bring and your overall gear, but at 33 liters, super comfortable for most people for three to 10 day trips. And finally, this backpack is perfect for you if you love that air aesthetic. Air makes urban city backpacks. You wouldn't be caught dead hiking with this thing. It's the complete opposite of like that old school hiker, you know, backpacker backpack, you know, think like Osprey, like, what's up, bro? It's like, I'm like a backpacker. Like, let's go to Cambodia and like smoke some weed, bro. Like those guys aren't seen backpacking with backpacks like this. I love those people. You're my people, okay? But this is more like that urban aesthetic, that fucking like ballistic nylon. It's like, yo, I'm a city person. It's like, yo, I'm an urban dweller. I'm not making fun of you, dude, like that's me. Like I am a city rat. Like as of taping this, I live in Hong Kong. I, I know city life, I love city life. And that's the sort of vibe and sort of aesthetic that this bag gives off. Which is one of the biggest reasons why I love air because I'm into that whole like urban, minimalist, sleek, sexy sort of a look. So if that's your vibe and you're like, dude, this, me, that, if you and this backpack right now are just totally vibing together, then use the links below and get this thing. This bag is gonna be perfect for you. You won't regret it. But let me tell you who this pack isn't for. First off, this backpack is not for you if you're looking for an everyday backpack. 
an EDC have you. Everyday carry, bro. If that's what you're looking for, 33 liters is too big. Sorry, it just is. The max I would recommend for an everyday carry is 30 liters, but really you can get away with something in the 20 to 25 liter area. 15 too small for most, 20 to 30 perfect, 30 plus a bit too big. But don't worry, if you, you, if you're looking for a day pack, I got you, man. Check the links below where I will hook you up with some of the best day packs in the game, even some day packs by air. This is also not for you if you're looking for a long term travel backpack. Notice how I extended the R. It wasn't long term. It wasn't even long term. It was long term. At 33 liters, I think you can travel for like a month with this, no problem. But if you're like going out on the road and you're planning to travel for three months, five months, up to a year, then I think 33 liters is just too small. Doable? Yes. Too small for most? Yes. If you are about to engage on a long-term travel and you're looking for a pack to be like your BFFE on that experience, this isn't gonna be big enough. Check the links below. Down there, I got some of the baddest travel packs ever made. Like, they're awesome. I'm talking like Nomadic, I'm talking Tortuga, I'm talking, just, just check the links. There's some dope ones down there. Guys, thanks so much for sticking around for this epic Air Travel Pack 2 review. If you're still here, it's because I have a sneaking suspicion that you like backpacks. I like backpacks too. We all like backpacks. So please do yourself a favor and hit the subscribe button or at least hit the little thumbs up video, uh, the little thumbs up guy. Where's that little thing? Just, just hit that. Whether you like or comment on the video or subscribe, that lets us know we're doing a good job. And most importantly, it lets YouTube know that we're doing a good job and that boosts us up in the rankings, which is just good for everyone. That's it. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. But seriously, I much prefer a softer sort of a shoulder strap, a softer sort of a shoulder strap experience. God, that's hard. A, so a, softer sor a softer sort of a shoulder strap experience. A softer sort of a shoulder strap experience. A softer short of a shoulder. God, it's really hard. Try it. So, 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 so. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like what, Russian? It's not, it's also so, 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 so. <laughs> uh -oh, the accents are coming out. It's happening. Um, watch out behind you. I'm on talking duty and protect Boris from motorcycles duty. Two very important duties. Watch out, Boris. Boris, watch out! Saved your life again. That's twice in one day, okay? Done.